This morning in the blend, we have Lansing City Clerk Chris Swope with us. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Bob. All right, so what can be done to increase access to make it easier to vote? Well, I have some ideas that tie in with the Proposal 3 that was passed in 2018 uh, that would take it another step further. I think like uh, 25 other states do, if you come to my office ahead of the election and want to put your ballot into a tabulator, you should be able to do that, which gives you a second chance to correct some errors that voters make. Um, and it also stay, saves my office the, the requirement of having to open that ballot up and process it uh, as an absentee ballot. I think 11 other states do that, don't they? Uh, 25 other states do that. Um, 11 other states allow early processing of the mail-in ballots. So I think we should be doing that as well. It's a really important step. And then, you know, to uh, assure the accuracy of our election, uh, we have uh, been piloting risk-limiting audits in Michigan, uh, but our law says that the audit can't be done until after the election is certified and it can't impact the results of the election. I think that uh, audits should be done before the state certification. And if there is any error found, we should be correcting that error. It doesn't make any sense uh, that we could have the possibility of finding an error and not correct it. What about the removal of deceased voters from, from your records? I think that should be automated at a state level. Each county produces an electronic record, uh, but what they do now is they mail or email us a copy of it, and we have to then enter it into the qualified voter file. And it's self-reported by the person's family what city they lived in, and sometimes that's not accurate as to where they're registered to vote. They might not even know the right county where the person's registered to vote. So I think it needs to be a statewide automated system so that we can clear the roles of all deceased people. That makes a lot of sense, Chris. Um, and, and I understand that you also want to make the Secretary of State purge biannually the list of voters, right? Right. Uh, you know, when we get evidence that a voter uh, doesn't live in the jurisdiction anymore, we send them a notice and then they have to go through two federal election cycles without correcting their address or voting uh, to be removed. But once that happens, uh, we should make sure that that is done without fail. So, you know, uh, we need to make these voter lists as clean as they can be, as accurate as they can be, so that, uh, you know, we assured of the accuracy of our election. Good information, Chris. We're going to put your information on the screen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob.